This smells like a man. Can you just hear? Oh, this smells like a man that smells really, really, really good. Uh, me too. I love a man who smells good. My mom is making fruit juice. She just bought this, um, what is it called? Extractor. This extractor because she's on her natural journey. You know, my mom is diabetic and she's for, for as long as when it, when it done that. For as long as she's learned that she's diabetic for, she's been doing like the natural route. So, you know, um, being Caribbean, we, 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 they, or generation believes in uh, like the bushes and stuff like that. So she's always done the bushes, but you know, got to the point where when you do your finger stick, it, the results are still a little bit high. So I was telling her that she could still do the bushes, but also she should, um, you know, take the medication to kind of keep it at bay a little bit. So now she bought this extractor and she's made, as you guys can see over here, there's a plethora of juices. That red one has beets, the green one has, what does the green one have? Cucumber, cilantro, spinach, parsley, everything. Cucumber, cilantro, um, spinach, parsley. Ginger, lime. All of them have, she put ginger in there. Lime. And the one, the one that's red, she had beetroot. Carrot, ginger. Carrot and ginger instead of that one. And then now she's making... So it's unsweet. No, we don't yeah, now she's making pineapple and ginger. But she didn't add sugar or anything. She's just using them just like that. Mommy, you should put some apples too. Yeah, I can do that. Do before, do before they go bad. Because we have quite a few and like... So you could do a few of these apples. No, mommy, eat one first. I went apple picking the other day, you guys, and, and we got some apples. So I'm telling her she could use apples. So we have three apples. She could also add those to the one that's... um, Whichever one, I guess, she could add those to. You can add to a pineapple, a pineapple and ginger. Yeah. So that one is going to be pineapple, apple, ginger. But I'm going to let you guys watch, like, you know, because the machine makes a lot of noise. So we're going to just run it and I'll let you guys watch.
Happy Sunday. I just made me a jade some blueberry oatmeal. Today's Sunday and I'm trying to go through whatever is in the fridge that is time for it to get thrown out. But the oatmeal was more intentional. But I had these blueberries in there. They are looking really good. And I thought for sure they would have spoiled because I bought them when I bought her some blackberries, but they're not. They're really good. So I gave her some for breakfast and I think I'm gonna give her some for lunch as well with like some other fruits just so we can like go through these right now i'm going to freshen up her hair because i washed it last night but i washed it with the braids in it which is not the best wash but um i'm gonna freshen it up right now and then i'll wash it again when these braids that i'll put in there gets old while meal prepping was not intentional the fridge is full we have rice we have meat we have um soup my mom made some soup yesterday so very good. I have a little bit left in the pot here that I could take out and um, put in this bowl so the pan could be washed. I do not like going out. Like things are left out and like the counter is not clean. I feel like I can't function when the kitchen isn't clean. So I'm constantly going in and like cleaning up and putting stuff away just so I can like see what I'm doing. Fridge is literally packed to capacity. You see, this is how I start out saying I'm going to do one thing and then I get into something else. I said I was going to freshen up Mia's hair. But I'm going to do it right here and I have to clean up the kitchen. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to freshen up her hair. I'm going to put Mr. Rachel on for her and do her hair and stuff. But I'll come back later. Mia said hi. Hi guys. Every year when Bath and Body Works has their candle sale, I always participate. Mainly because, you know, during the holiday season at work, sometimes I give um, candles for gifts. Normally, when they're having their annual sale, you can only buy 18 candles. This one smells so good. Darn it. Wow. Frosty coconut sm snowball smells so good. Had I known that it smelled so good, I'd have bought more than one. Yeah. Hair. No, thank you, honey. Yeah. I know, but your hair's already done. Okay? Yeah. I know, your hair's already done, beautiful. I have eucalyptus snowfall. I don't know what that smells like. That one I've never tried before this is new for me but i really do like having candles in my home there's nothing i hate more than no thank you honey sitting on the bus or in a car or on the train beside somebody and they smell like food their outerwear smells like food so whenever i'm cooking i always light a candle in my entryway in my kitchen and in the living room now i can't do the living room as much because mia touches everything this smells really good too by the way it smells nice clean and crisp like the fall air but with a bit of eucalyptus really good so um so yeah i always light candles in here because i don't like the food smell normally when i'm cooking i close the bedroom doors and i close the bathroom the bathroom door because i don't want um linens or like clothes to smell like can't like um food even though i like the candles i still do that this is leather and brandy oh this smells like a man you understand oh this smells like a man that smells really 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 good and i love a man that smells really good so i love that one i bought i think i bought two of that one no honey dirty dirty These damn boxes are too hard to do, and I'm not breaking a freaking nail to do this. Last year, they had some boxes that were, like, easier, like... Mm -hmm. This one is sweater weather. This is a staple, too. Even though now that I think about it, I feel like sweater weather is very, very light. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest out and then I'm going to come back or I'm going to be here all day long. 